John and I are here in Cross Creek, Florida at Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings Historic State Park. A few weeks ago, John and I hiked the Yearling Trail in the Ocala National Forest. Um, it, the Yearling Trail is in an area of uh, Ocala that uh, Marjorie Kinnon uh, Rawlings visited. Uh, and it's an area that inspired her to write the Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Yearling. It is necessary to leave the impersonal highway, to step inside the rusty gate and close it behind. One is now inside the orange grove, out of one world and into a mysterious heart of another. And after long years of spiritual homelessness, of nostalgia here, is that mystic loveliness of childhood again. Here is home. Marjorie Kennan Rawlings, Cross Creek, 1942. The heart of Rawlings 72 acre farm is citrus. This is a small restored grove and um, there was many varieties of fruit that she would have grown. Lemons, kumquats, grapefruits, tangerines, navel. The original trees, of course, did not survive, but some of these have been grown from the original root stock or seeds. Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings' house and farm yard has been designated a National Historic Landmark. This site possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America. 2006 National Park Service, United States Department of the Interior. Farmhouse tour information. Interior tours are available Thursday through Sunday at 11, 1, 2, and 3 p.m. So to go on a tour, we just sign up on this tour sheet and then we meet back here five minutes prior to the tour. And the tour is $3 per adult and $2 per child. Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings moved to this farm in the fall of 1928 after a spring vacation in Florida. the barn. It has of course been reconstructed and this would represent um, the way life was when she uh, had her farm here. Oh, check out the skins on the wall. You know, she came down from New York even though she claimed she was not a Yankee yeah, because she was born in Washington, D.C. But that's like one step over the line, right? Yeah. And, Yankee. yeah. Okay. and when you're, when you go into a new culture, you're liable to step on toes, mm -hmm. which she did. Um, uh, she smoked when, in 1928 when women did not do that in public. She smoked in public. She drank a mite and a mite more. Yes. Yeah. That's why we're so protective of it. Yeah. Right down to the pack of the Lucky Strike cigarettes. Yeah, oh, oh, that's old it is and, and those porch in the neighborhood, and that would be a day bed.
but she did have a generator after nine years and had the house wired for lights. And if you did that, you just drop a bulb down. And she didn't like the glare, so she went to the kitchen and got some bread bowls. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> you, have to do, you have to make do with what you have. That's right. <laughs> now, if you were here when Marjorie first got here, you'd be standing in midair because that was the farmhouse and this was the tenant house. And this is how she joined them. Oh, With the $700 oh. she got from Jacob's Ladder, she said, I want something lasting. And she and Mo went out to some abandoned houses, you know, courtesy of Boom and Bust, Florida, and made a deal on the sink and the tub. They had to order the toilet from Sears Roebuck. <laughs> and so they got it all put in, and they had a party. And she expected her neighbors to look around. She had ice and soda in the tub and a silver tray with crystal glasses here and Uncle Fred provided a dozen roses. And so she expected her neighbors to say, what a great idea. And instead what they said was, why would you do something so nasty inside your house? Oh. oh. Just not ready for the that. The bathroom inside. <clears throat> yes. Oh. Now, they joined the two buildings, but they didn't make them meet. And Marjorie said that this step was no friend to the aged, the inebriated, or the absent-minded. Yeah, so true, if you yeah. trip as we go into the guest room, we will all speculate as to your condition. Yeah. <laughs> She sent Marjorie a gift, a cookbook. And if your mother in law gives you a cookbook, it's probably. <laughs> and it was, um, let me see if they, put it, if they took it down. Yeah, it was the Joy of Cooking. The Old Joy of Cooking, I think it was, but I don't see it up here anymore. But the, the irony here is that Marjorie published her own cookbook, thank you very much, because she became an excellent cook, and it was published by the same company. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> Good for her. So you got just about everything growing in here. Tomatoes, yeah. eggplants, whole beans, corn you can see back there, okra. So John and I are um, down the street from the Marjorie Can Canon Rawlings um, Historic State Park and uh, we're down the street from there and uh, about two minutes away and we're going to have some lunch now here at the Yearling Restaurant.